shakalaka. Woo! What's going on? Hey, it's Friday, fun day, motivation. I got, I got just something that's got to come out. So I think most people, I think everybody for most of their life wants to improve their body, their health, their money, career, and their relationships. Whether they're on the surface willing to admit it or not, I think it's instinctive. I think it's the uh, survival mechanism. We instinctively want to improve. Some people give up on that uh, at certain stages of their life for a, a year or two when they get knocked down. Hopefully they come out of that, but some people give up on it uh, forever in their 40s and 50s because life's tough. But here's my point. As a little analogy, little lesson to take something away from, it's a technical fact that water, H2O, boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level. But if you're 5,000 uh, feet high on a mountain in Colorado, the pressure is different. It doesn't boil till 202. That's not part of the story, but I just wanted to show you guys that I am a little bit intelligent. So. What happens when someone builds a fire and they're working and they're getting the water hotter and it's going from 50 degrees and it's getting up there to 100, 150, 190, 200 degrees, it's not boiling. Nothing changes. 205 degrees, 210, 208 degrees, 209 degrees, still not boiling. All that work, all that heat, all that energy still hasn't changed anything. Water temperature gets up to 211 degrees, nothing. Man, it's a lot of work. Some people give up at 200 degrees, 208 degrees, 209 degrees, 210 degrees, 211 degrees. It's hard to heat that water up. Life is hard. But if you don't give up, if you get knocked down and you get back up and you try again, might have to reheat that water up again because it might go down a little bit to 150 degrees. Now you got Hopefully you don't have to start all the way over at ground zero where it's 50 degrees again and you got to build another fire, but sometimes you have to. Build another fire, water starts heating up again, 190, 200, 205, 208, 209, nothing. It seems like nothing's changing. 209, 210, 211 degrees, nothing. But boom, one day you make it. You hit 212 degrees with your effort and water starts to boil and steam and changes everything. Now you got the power to run a locomotive engine. You can't stop a train. That is power and you can, your change is done. You got the momentum now and you made it. But the tough thing in life is to keep going when we haven't reached that boiling point where we see the change and where we feel the power and where we feel the energy. I've been there, you've been there. Get back up, get back in the game, and go forward. You know, Rocky said it great in one of the movies. You know, it's not how hard you get hit, but once you get knocked down, it's all about getting back up, lacing up your sneakers, and just going to work and trying one more time and get some momentum. And it's how hard you can get hit and get knocked down and get back up again. That's the secret. That's one of the secrets in life. So, where's your water temperature at? Do you want, everybody wants change. We already talked about that. Whether they're willing to admit it or not. If you've given up, don't give up. You can do it. Get that water boiling up to, uh, hot enough to 210, 211. Get it to boil again so you can move stuff. Steam moves a freight train. Temperature, water at temperature 210 doesn't move anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on a soapbox tonight. I'm talking to myself. I'm no better than anybody else. In fact, a lot of you are better than me. I could learn from you. Ah, get back in the game. You do have the power to change to make the rest of your life the best of your life. Please share this video if it touched your heart to someone who needs to hear it. Comment below. Let's talk it out. Adios. Until next time.